Okay, so now we have talked about how to change fractions into decimals. Now we're going to do the same thing here with these mixed numbers. And remember, um, from last time our direction said convert this to a decimal, round to the nearest thousandth if necessary. So that means we want to round this to three decimal places um, if we need to. Okay, looking at this problem, 2 and 7 eighths, the whole number part here, the 2, is exactly that in the decimal. It is the whole number part. So this will be 2 and, and then we have our decimal part will be equivalent to the fractional part. So really, the only thing we have to convert is this fraction of 7 eighths. So if we do the division, 7 divided by 8, well, the de decimal naturally falls behind the 7, so we're going to line those up. 8 will not go into 7, so we're going to have to add a 0. 8 will go into 70, though, 8 times. 8 times 8 would be 64. And when we subtract, we would get a 6. Now remember, we're supposed to go to three decimal places, so we're not done. We need to keep adding zeros and keep going. So 8 will go into 60 7 times. 7 times 8 would be 56. And when we subtract, we get 4. So now we need to keep going. We can add another 0 so that we can have that to drop down. 8 will go into 40 5 times. 5 times 8 would be 40. So now we have no more remainder. We're done. So this would be 2.875 in its decimal form. All right, let's try another one here. Here we have 6 and 1 third. So again, 6 being the whole number part will be the exact same thing in the decimal equivalent. It will be the whole number part, the part to the left of the decimal. So the only thing really we need to convert is the 1 third. So let's do the division. 1 divided by 3. And we're going to put our decimal right behind the 1 where it occurs. Now 3 will not go into 1, so we have to add a 0. 3 will go into 1 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. When we do the subtraction, we get a 1. Now remember, it said we were supposed to round to the nearest thousandth, so we have to keep going. So I'm going to add a 0. 3 will go into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. When we subtract, we get 1. Can you see that this is going to continue going this way forever and ever and ever? Absolutely it will. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. And we keep going. Now notice that I'm going to just go this one more time. 3 will go into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 would be 9. Now I could keep going forever and ever and ever. But it said that if that if it was necessary, we were going to round to the nearest thousandth place. Well, the thousandth place is right here. So in order to round, we had to go one place more than that. This determines whether we round up or leave it alone. So because this is four or less, then that tells us we're going to leave this number alone. So rounded to the nearest thousandth, 6 and 1 third, as written as a decimal, would be 6.33.